Good morning, brothers and sisters. May God bless you. May God the Father strengthen you for a time is short, time is running out. Just want to make this short video. Uh, I was at the, one of the state parks over here like about two days ago, spent time with the Lord. And um, I noticed there was uh, a card on my windshield and uh, I tried to grab it. I lift up the wind, the, the windshield wiper and the card just slid down the, the hood. So I opened the hood and noticed that the card had gone inside the body and I was like, wow, that's strange. So I, I couldn't get to it. I couldn't get to the card. And uh, this morning, you know, I was like, I wonder what the card was about. And uh, I took this piece off, this uh, this plastic off, and um, and then I, I got the card. And God works in mighty ways that this car went inside there because I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't supposed to see it. I wasn't supposed to have it. It's the deception of the devil that comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. See, I keep dropping it. Anybody got some steaks? Uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 4. For, for if he that come preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which you have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. For I suppose I was not a wit behind that every chief is apostle. But though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge, but we have been truly made manifest among you in all things. Have I committed an offense in ab abasing myself that you might be exalted because I have preached to you the gospel of God freely? So if, an, if anybody comes to you and preaches another gospel, that, then the one of Jesus Christ in the Bible, just reject it. I, I used to be a Catholic. I was baptized as, as a Catholic growing up as a baby. And wow, I was so lost. Then I was seeking the truth and the missionaries, the Mormons, they came to my house and since I was seeking, they caught me on a point that I was really struggling and I was seeking the truth. And I accepted to give them a chance and I got baptized as a Mormon. And wow, they lied to me. Uh, I was the only, then, um, then they told me that I had to get married because I was living in sin, which I was. 
and I got married and my wife, she just wanted the marriage certificate, she was in a legal and she had, she was cheating on me with somebody already. She took everything out of my house. She took my daughter and left. So I'm married now. She left, took everything. Uh, took my daughter, and I haven't seen my daughter. You know, like 12 years. So I was really, really depressed. And the Mormons, they uh, took me to this place. And they told me to lie to them, you know, that I was really going through hard times, struggling. And I didn't know they took me to the psych ward. And right there, you know, since they told me to lie, there was this question. Uh, I believe it was uh, about suicidal and I just, they told me to lie. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to listen to them. You know, they're followers of Jesus Christ, but... Not the one of the Bible, guys. They're followers of the Antichrist. And uh, so I put yes. And from there, they locked me up. And after that, the Mormon church closed the doors on me. And they didn't want to hear from me no more. Because I listened to them. I I lied. and And now, you know, I know the truth. I've been set free. I'm born again. I'm a, I'm a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. Not on religion. The Mormons are wicked, are evil. And they're perishing. They're on their way to hell. If you're a Mormon, seek the truth. Read the Bible, not the Mormon book. Read the Word of God. Seek God with all your heart and you should find Him. Trust in Him. Not the religion of Mormonism. Mormonism, it's false. It's wicked. Just like Jehovah Witness, Catholicism, uh, Islam, Buddhism, Hinduism. Um, like the prosperity gospel as well. And so much out there. There's only one way. And that is through Jesus Christ. John 14, 6. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. That is Jesus Christ. We need Jesus Christ. We don't need religion. We don't need all these other trash books that are out there. If this is not enough for you, repent. Repent. If the Bible is not enough, if you need another book, repent. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but only through Jesus Christ for what he did. So repent of your sins and believe in the gospel today. For if you repent and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You should be saved. That's right guys. Saved. Or we say, we're saved by grace. Through faith. Not of our own works. Um, okay, that if you you should confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and should believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you should be saved. For with the heart man believes to righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made to salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him should not be ashamed. For there is no distinction, no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all that call upon him. For, whos, for whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord should be saved. That's uh, Romans 10, uh, 9 to 13. And God bless you guys. Uh, Mormons, repent. Repent. Repent, Catholics, repent. I used to be a dead Catholic. There's no such thing as a live Catholic because those that have the Son have life and those that do not have the Son should not see life, but the wrath of God abides on them. And you cannot have the Son and be involved in other uh, religion because it's a relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's a relationship. Uh, if we don't know Him, if we're not born again of the Spirit of God, 
we are not his. We must be born again of water and spirit. Guys, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Come out from Mormons. Come out. Come out from those religions. There's only one way. That is through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace and grace be with you. In the name of Jesus. He's coming soon. He's coming very soon. Don't be left behind. Seek the truth today. Humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. That he may be able to raise you up in due time. Call upon his name while he's near. Call upon him while he's near. Time is running out. Time is short. So be alert and so reminded. Because the enemy. The enemy. He is out there like our own lion. Looking for him. made bore him. There's so much deception in these last days. So many claim to have the truth. But only Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And he is coming soon. Stay strong in the Lord. Be born again. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist him. He comes in many, many doctrines. Many doctrines, but there's only one. That is the word. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Amen. The Bible. This is the word of God. Not the Mormon uh, book. Not the Jehovah Witness. Uh, the Catholicism. None of those. None of those. When I went to Mexico... I witnessed so much Catholicism there, so much idolatry there. And most of them are involved in, in the drug cartels. That's right, in the drug cartels. And also, uh, talking to some people there, a lot of them own um, uh, like cantinas, bars. And they run, they control the alcohol there. And they're involved in alcohol. Uh, drunkenness and uh, drugs as well. I witnessed uh, people snoring cocaine, uh, people smoking marijuana, and from early in the morning they were drinking, drinking. So, and they're Catholics, they're Catholics, and um, let's see, let's see something. So, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 9, 10. Know you not that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God, be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor rebellers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. So guys, it's so simple. Pick up the Bible. A lot of Catholics don't know the Bible. A lot of Catholics don't know the Bible. They don't read the Bible. They have this uh, sermon preached uh, that's in Latin, I believe, and it comes from Rome. And... Last time I checked the Catholic, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what they call it. Uh, a cathedral, a cathedral, St. James Cathedral here in Seattle, Washington. I went with this uh, gentleman that I was uh, ministering to him the word of God and he is a Catholic and, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'll go with him and check it out and, you know, God willing, he'll come with me to a, a Christian church. Uh, I went to a church, and uh, it was in Mother's Day, and I have no clue what they do there. And I couldn't understand the sermon because it was in Latin. Uh, I don't know what language was, but it was in English. It was in Spanish. Uh, so I couldn't understand. And then they gave the, the wafer. 
and stuff. I didn't take none of that stuff. Uh, then, since it was Mother's Day, they came to a, a, a point that everybody faced a statue of, uh, I, I guess they call it the uh, Virgin Mary. And they uh, kneeled down and they bowed down to her and they were praying to her. And I was like the only one that was standing up, standing up. Everybody was like worshiping this statue, praying to this statue. And I was just like, oh, wow. You know, it's like, wow. It's like another time when I went to uh, Indonesia. Everybody was speaking in tongues. And I, just, blah, 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 blah. I was looking everywhere. Everybody was speaking in tongues. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? You know, so it was like, that was kind of freaky. And we have discernment to discern that we're really truly born again. We have discernment to discern uh, what is of God and what is of not. So I just want to tell my friends that are Catholics, humble yourself, read the Bible, seek the truth, the word of God, know the Bible, and live the Bible. Time is running out. Time is short. So I love you guys. And it's not the will of the Father that not you perish, but for all to come to repentance, to the true saving knowledge of the truth of His Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For there is no other name given to mankind under heaven in which we must be saved. No other name, guys. Not the, the, the Catholic religion. There's only one meter between God and man, and that is Jesus Christ. That is Jesus Christ, guys. Jesus, follow Jesus. Trust Jesus, obey, obey, obey Jesus.